Hello everyone and welcome to the Battlecraft server, the only server that makes you feel like a sea king. No, wait, wait, there's a better one there. The only server you need to be sea king. Does that work? There is a Pokemon called sea king, isn't there? I haven't lost my mind. There's definitely Seedra, but the evolution is sea king. <laughs> anyway, it's good to be back on the server. It's actually been a hot minute since I've been on the Battlecraft server, partly because I've been uh, busy with Vault Hunters, but also just, you know, Christmas and COVID, and a lot of stuff got in the way. But we are back, and I'm excited to get started. There's a lot of things we need to do, and the first thing that I want to do is just have a look around, because I haven't been on for like a month, and honestly, I'm surprising myself with how nice my base is looking. It's like I've taken a step back and... What? <laughs> What's that guy doing up there? That's, the, that's not... I did not put him up there. Like, did someone put him up there? Like, that's the question. Did you... What? How did he manage? Like, I mean, he can kind of... I mean, there is a route for him to get there. I kind of want to leave him up there. It's quite fun. Past Rob has done a good job. Now, obviously, we've still got half of the village still to do. There's this part here which has been completely untouched. And it's about time that I build my gym. There's an area here which I earmarked for my gym, but never really did anything with. We do have a connection to my village, uh, which is this way here. Uh, but I need to actually build it. So that won't be done today, but we're going to be working towards that goal. Now, instead of walking around like a headless chicken, which is what kind of been doing up to now i think i'm gonna pick a project and get that started and ease our way back onto the server and actually why don't we start off with berries a few episodes ago we went out into the world and we collected all of these lovely berries now the berries have some good effects that you can give pokemon um, they actually have quite a lot of uses uh, within oh god within uh, the Cobblemon world. However, the thing I'm mostly interested in is collecting them all. Catch them all if you wish. The zoom in doesn't really work when I'm flying. There are a lot of berries as you can see here. We have some of them. We have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten berries. But it's not all of them and I want all of them. So I'm gonna decide quite arbitrarily that this building here is going to be our, our our greenhouse let's call it uh, i think this could be like a nice little botanical uh, themed building and within it we can plant our berries so i think what you do with berries is you can yeah you can make them grow by bone mealing them and every time you get berries from them i think there's a chance they'll mutate based on other berries around them right Oh, 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 in fact, there it is. I've seen it already. Yes, we have a figgy berry. So that's what we all you need to do. You need to put two berries together and you should be able to get the mutations. Oh, wait, is that a shiny? <gasps> it's a shiny. It's a shiny. I got a shiny. Okay, okay, we need to capture a shiny. <laughs> Fight. Hypnosis. Make it go to sleep. Oh, a shiny Joltik. Mini Wheat is going to be jealous. Oh, fantastic. We got our second, no, third shiny. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so this works, at least in principle. But I realized that I have a lot of berries I have not collected. There are definitely some that we can, you know, uh, do mutations for. Like we can get a, a kelpsy berry with a rindo berry and a corn berry. But there's a lot of berries that just don't have any recipes. So I'm assuming... You just have to find them in the wild. So I guess let's go on a, a little adventure. Okay, berries. Petra berries. I don't think we got Petra. So that is a good find. We definitely do have orange berries though. Oh wait, it's a Persian. I do need that for my uh, Gen 1 Pokemon. Um, so we may as well capture it. Right, that's one. Oh, Susha berries. Okay, that's another one I don't have, I believe. Oh, this is a nice biome. Okay, slight new tactic I've worked out on the, the wiki uh, for Cobblemon that there are certain biomes that uh, are preferred by the berries. So instead of flying around aimlessly, uh, it's much more convenient to just go and find the biomes, especially we've got uh, Nature's Compass. There are also 30 natural 
uh, berries. So we're missing a good amount. So the first one we're counting down is the Chesto berry. Oh, but that's a raspberry. I'll take that. But yeah, Chesto berries can only be found in forest. Chesto berries. We got some Chesto berries. Okay, next is roast berries. <laughs> I don't know how you say that. Roast. They're like arid. So desert? Is the desert count as arid? Cactus desert. That will do. There's a lot of new Pokemon in this update, uh, but today we're focusing on berries. We're not focusing on Pokemon, but we'll definitely have to come and uh, have a bit of an explore at some point in the future. Oh, Rossberry, finally. This one took a while to get hold of. I guess it's because it's quite low, so it's quite easy to miss it. Habanberry. It's not the one I was looking for. I'm looking for Auraberry, but I'll take these. After quite a bit of exploring, I've managed to collect most of the natural spawning berries. This is my current collection. I'm still missing a few. Um, I'm currently relying on mob drops to be able to get them. I can't seem to find the berries out uh, in the wild. So right now I'm hunting down Cricketots and Cricketoons near my base because they drop Cobra berries. But as they only spawn at night and I'm near my base anyway, I thought I'd get started on uh, the build, which will be the ideal place to kind of display these berries. So I've marked this particular building here for our farm. And I've not really planned what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to freestyle it. So uh, let's just get started placing blocks. And for this build, I think I'm going to go for the classic greenhouse combination with some nice spruce logs uh, and a load of glass. And we're back trying to get berries. <laughs> the cricket tots, I think that's what they're called. The cricket tots have a 2.5% chance of dropping it, while the cricket tunes, the evolution, have a 5% chance of dropping it. Oh, 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 it looks like a berry. Yes, it's a cobra berry. We've got the cobra berry. Ooh, okay, that's one more. Okay, I've made a bit of progress on this uh, botanic shop greenhouse thing uh, I've used this moving table as uh, a floor and yeah we've got two big rooms that should be enough for all of the berries and now I need to work on the roof and I'm thinking we try something slightly different maybe we go for like a maybe a glass roof yeah glass and wood roof that sounds greenhousey now that angle is gonna be a bit tricky but that's part of the challenge of working with angles. Okay, maybe I think this is going to work. We're just adding some glass to this wooden frame. Okay, I think we've got the building done. I think it's looking okay. This is what the exterior looks like, especially like obviously all the leaves on it, which makes it feel a lot more botanical. The roofs also come out quite nicely, I think. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's quite, uh, it's quite different from the other roofs, and that's kind of what I wanted. And it's very light because if we are cultivating plants inside, the logic would be that it's a very light uh, environment. Now the interior looks a bit like this, but we will be planting uh, all of our berries here once we've got them. And it's got an upper floor which I think looks quite pretty. I think this. Uh, this roof arrangement really works well here. Yeah, I think this is a good addition to our village. Although the outside I think is a bit less detailed maybe than other structures we've done. I think once we start adding in the other buildings, it's really gonna blend in well. So I'm quite happy with this. I'm gonna, I think, I've, I think I'm gonna call it done. Now on the berry front, we have a lot of berries. As you can see, I've managed to get myself a cobra berry, a cassip berry, and a, a payapa berry, all of which come from mob drops. I'm still missing a calib berry and a ros roserbi berry or roseli berry, something like that. Um, and those will be all of the natural spawning berries done. So let's try and knock those out. So cobra berry is in the badlands. Now there's quite a few badlands around us. Let's go to this one, which is about 6,000 blocks away. Actually, I just realized we can slightly cheat with this one because it's dropped by Elgims and Elgims are the only Pokemon that spawns in the end. Whoa, this looks pretty awesome with the, with the mod. Okay, but we are here for these guys. 
they have a 2.5 percent of dropping the berry we need while these guys the beachums have a five percent chance uh nope neither of those are the berry oh there it is that's it Colba berry okay that's us done in the end then now that leaves me with one more berry to find well of the ones out in the wild we haven't done any mutations yet but this one's a tricky one because we have to go for loot drops rather than finding it in the wild and all the pokemon that drop it are fairly rare but there's one pokemon that stands out on the list and that is Sebli. now if i'm not mistaken Last time I was here, I saw a sign that said, yeah, Ancient City. So if we go this way, Ancient City. Now I'm hoping this is an emptied out Ancient City. And we can just walk around and find loads of Sebli's to, uh, you know, murder. Well, I got a glimmer at least. Uh, but where are the Sebli's? I stepped away to take a call a second. And while I was doing that, I killed one Sebli and I got it. I got the berry, the Roselli berry. So we finally have every single one of the naturally spawning berries. So let's go back to the base. Right, I've planted all the berries we found. It's time now to get them all ready and grown up. Okay, so these are all the basic berries. Oh, look at them. So cute. We now need to make the hybrid berries, the crazy ones. So I guess the way to do this is by going down this list. So the first one is Lepa, for which you mean an Oren and a Nanab. And now, in theory, this should be able to drop. Oh, there we go. Lepa Berry. We got one already. Basically, this is going to be my life for the next hour or so. I'm just going to keep uh, growing different berries, combining them to get new ones. Oh, there it is. Wiki Berry. So I'll see you in a few hours when this is done. Right, I'm on the last one. We just need a raw up berry, which is a Copa and a Bellu. I don't know if there's an achievement for getting them all, but I'm kind of hoping. Oh, that'll be the last one. Hey, there we go. We got all the berries. Oops, all berries. Nice. Oh, that took a while. Cool, and with that, that is every single berry planted. They're looking really, really cute. And I think next episode I'm actually going to build a little shop if people want to buy all of the berries. Uh, they don't have to go through the whole thing I've done. But that is it for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!